And there we go. Okay, cool. Off we go to the races. Um, so now let's do the same thing for SP Blitz first. Let's go add in warnings for SP Blitz first. Now, as a reminder, let's go fetch the uh, current dev branch of the first responder kit, um, just so that I don't accidentally overwrite that. So um, as a reminder for how SP Blitz first works, when you run SP Blitz first, um, it takes a snapshot of a whole bunch of DMVs, waits for five seconds, takes another snapshot at the end, um, and at the end t checks the differences between those two snapshots in order to see what happened during that time span. Now, I don't have to do that for this particular DMV. This particular DMV, since it already has uh, like an hour or four hours, whatever it was built in, I can just go straight to the end and just say, uh, let's go check to see if there were any issues. So let's go cop up, pop open the code. Um, I am gonna have to add a new check, so we'll go ahead and open that. Um, with notepad. So SP Blitz first, we're going to start a new check. So we'll increment that little list, 53. Um, so maintenance tasks running, query problems, SQL Server internal maintenance, poison weights. Um, it is kind of around a poison weight. I'd say it's around a poison weight. Um, so let's say under 10, um, and alphabetically it's going to be right above it, um, memory what do we call it on the other one? Memory dangerously low? Dangerously low recently. Uh, and then it was memhist. And it was check 52. Okay. Uh, so let's save that. And then let's go pop over into the code. Uh, do, 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 do. SP Blitz first. Um, so now, the way that this thing works is it does, uh, you know, I said it takes a snapshot of a whole bunch of DMVs, uh, then runs some checks, then does another set of uh, snapshots. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the end of the SP Blitz first results. So here's like check 39, or the, so it's where it's... So I said it, it takes a snapshot of a bunch of DMVs, waits for five seconds, then takes another snapshot. Well, during that wait time, it runs a bunch of checks. And I can usually stuff all kinds of things in there because usually it doesn't take that long to run these diagnostic queries. So what I want to do is I want to find the end of the ones that we're running live. And I want to find before where we go and take the second snapshot. Seconds greater than zero. Oop, go back a little bit. Uh, if seconds is less than 30, I think end of checks. If we haven't waited, okay, there we go. That's it right there. Uh, <laughs> who's saying lurking over oh, night? Oh, cool. Um, uh, so, so here's the finish running investigatory questions. Um, so let's put it in down here. Um, now, do I, I'm going to copy an existing check that's kind of similar. I don't need to check this. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, copy. I don't need all this fancy logic in there, but we'll just take this as a starting point. Um, so this is server, what do we call it? Server, server performance, memory dangerously low recently. Server performance memory dangerously low recently. Um, this is check ID 51, I believe. Was it 51? Uh, let's close that one because I don't need that. Clo uh, 52, 52. Um, so 52. Running check 52. Um, here, I don't need this if uh, uh, cast stuff. Um, so I'm gonna, instead what I want is if exists, uh, select star from sys dm os memory health history. Uh, if it, oh, that's not what I want. No, 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 no. I can't do that. From sys all objects where name equals dm uh, os memory health history. And let's check that to make sure we have it typed named correctly. We do. Okay, great. Um, so if exists that, we don't have to do anything around there, around the, uh, I don't even really need to begin and end, but we'll just go ahead and do it. Uh, I don't need this either. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, pull you back by one. 
I got two ends in there, that's fine. Um, if exists, so this is 52 is check ID, priority is 10, uh, server performance, I believe we called it, uh, server performance, uh, and it was memory dangerously low recently. Um, now, I, 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 as I typed that, I, th I think I said before the break, I was going to have two checks, one for if the problem's happening right now, one if it happened in the last hour or four or whatever. Um, I, because I don't want to do any complicated date math in here, I want to keep, and I also want to, I don't want to do multiple queries. I'm going to do just one query because I want it to run as fast as possible with SP Blitz first. I'd want to try to minimize the amount of overhead that I cause on the server during that. Um, so go uh, memhist as URL. Um, now we can copy paste. Uh, we, we, I assume we can copy paste from SP Blitz first. Uh, I don't know why I bother. Um, from SP Blitz <laughs> from SP Blitz first. What am I doing? Sys DM OS memory health history. Um, where severity level is greater than one. Um, now here, I am not going to uh, group by, um, might as well. I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna. Um, okay, select top one. Select top one, just so that I don't have to group by and I can bail out really quickly. Um, there were uh, memory, low memory, uh, memory health issues are being reported in SysDMOS memory health. Um, uh, this uh, indicating extreme memory pressure. Okay, there we go. Um, that works. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Okay. Um, we could throw that as recently as, we'll say, as recently as, as, and then cast uh, convert, um, what's the date time on that one? Select star from SysDMOS memory health history. Uh, what's the date time column? Snapshot time, convert, snapshot time. Uh, I never remember what the syntax is for convert. Um, uh, let's ask Copilot. Hey, let's ask Copilot. Uh, what's the most universally loved date format uh, for a column, and how do I use the convert function to export that to a string? Let's see. I was like using some slightly oddball wording in my queries. Um, so why, oh beautiful, oh, I'm so glad that it came up with the right date time format. Um, yeah, so a bunch of trees says ISO 8601 all the way. I am completely with you. I'm a huge fan of that. Um, so I was really interested to see how uh, uh, Copilot would answer that question. And sure enough, oh yeah, that's what we like to see. Uh, so we'll use uh, uh, style code 120, it's absolutely perfect. Um, although it's odd that style code 120 it says, and it produces the same. That's a little odd. I, that strikes me as a little fishy. Um, so we'll say convert, um, shucks, I missed the copilot thing there, I'll pin it. Um, so uh, convert, uh, Format uh, Envercare 19. So Envercare, Envercare, oops, God bless. Envercare 19 uh, snapshot time 120 plus uh, 
as recently as that, memory health issues are being reported. All right, let's try that. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, let's try that. Um, so why, why I did it this way is I want the date time to appear as early as possible in the warning so people don't have to collapse the column. I also need an end there for the string. Okay, let's try that. Execute. Okay, now I should be able to run SP Blitz first with no parameters. It should give me the warning. What the hell, do I have multiple queries in here? Ah, I, left the, I left the select in here. I left the select down here. That's funny. Left my little diagnostic select down there. Um, so let's execute that again and let's try that again. Um, so because I had pressure recently, it should, should show up in the warnings. Yeah, memory dangerously low recently, as recently as 1753, uh, or 1733. Perfect. Uh, our being, issues are being reported in this thing. Okay, that's cool. Fantastic. Um, I'm happy with that. It shows up as the right priority. That's great. I love it. Um, and I have the wear filter in there. Perfect. Let's ship it. Ship it, ship it, ship it, ship it. Now uh, let's close this. Uh, oh, I need a, I need a screenshot of this too as well. Um, so uh, I'll I'll, key, I'll include the URL in the screenshot, and then highlight the row, and then take a screenshot of that so people can see it. Um, do, 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 do. Copy. All right. Uh, and then let's, so we got that. Let's go to our pull request. Uh, so this is what, 3691 probably is our issue number, 3692, okay. 3692, I don't need SQL query stress open anymore. I don't need this notepad open anymore. Let's go over to GitHub, uh, new branch. Um, let's control B. 3692 SP Blitz first memory pressure uh, new branch create branch bring my changes uh, number 3692 SP Blitz first uh, memory pressure uh, adds new warning for uh, sysdm os memory health history closes number 3692 commit, publish, do a pull request, uh, review or signer is me, milestone is October, Cree. let's make sure did I actually only change the things I wanted, oh yep yep that's good okay that's good that's good all right create the pull request and merge the pull request confirm Go over to that issue that we created, put that in the milestone as well. Okay, good, that's in there, that is done. All right, party time, excellent. Um, so there we go, so we have that uh, merged in. I am happy with that. So, here we go over here. <laughs> So we've been going on the stream overall for like an hour and a half. So like Renegade Larson was like, why don't you add these other details? Now you get an idea for it. Even when I just want to go in and do something really light, it usually takes me uh, an hour or two in order to do. There's so many little things. Now let's talk about what we didn't do. I didn't test it on other versions of SQL Server. I didn't like go back on a SQL Server 2012 or 2014 instance. I didn't test it on a server that's not having any problems. So what I typically tend to do is pile up pull requests and keep merging and merging and merging. And then as we get closer towards release, I'll go back and do a round of testing on SQL Server 2014 or 2016. Um, I tend to lag, I tend to do support further back than Microsoft's official support. Like if I can support 2012 or 2014, I usually try to, um, but uh, I think 2016 is probably the furthest back that I try to test these days. 
All right, um, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna stop there because it's 11 a.m. here in Vegas and it is time for me to go do lunch. I actually uh, wake up pretty early these days. I wake up around 2, 3 a.m. This morning I woke up about 2.30 a.m. Um, so I've been going quite a while. It is time for my lunch and uh, we have lots of pizza left over because yesterday we opened up the uh, uh, Uber Eats app and we had like giant credit towards pizza. They were running some kind of promotion on pizza. So we got a bunch of pizzas from Domino's so I got leftover pizza, which is the best kind of pizza. I am a personal fan believer that leftover pizza is even better than fresh pizza. And I, I don't even microwave mine. I actually eat it cold. Eve runs hers through the air fryer to get out some of the grease in there. So hopefully y'all had fun and learned something, and I will see y'all later. Adios.